Hey, what's up everyone? So for those of you that are new to the channel, my name's Aaron. I've been a lineman on the east coast of Canada for 17, almost 18 years now. So we're just getting back from a couple weeks vacation, as I mentioned in my last video. And by complete fluke, I was able to capture something on the vacation that I've been thinking about covering in a video for a while now. After seeing loads of comments about back feed and uh, the dangers to linemen working out in the field if a customer improperly hooks up a generator back feeding a transformer it'll actually step the voltage back up into the primary that's why we have our procedures in place with grounding bonding potential checks all that stuff so a transformer can be fed either direction in most cases we usually bring the high voltage in the top to feed low voltage into the houses there are some transformers in switchyards substations terminals where we have step up transformers especially from let's say our generating stations where the voltage is stepped up to a transmission level. There's this one location in our whole province that I know of that has this setup where a pole mounted transformer is purposely backfed to bring power to somebody's cottage on an island. So I did wanna make a video about this in the past, but I didn't have any images of it at all. While we were out with the family on vacation, we were on a catamaran blowing through the ocean and off in the distance, I seen a transmission line kind of bouncing from island to island and I thought, this is it. That's the structure I worked on back 12, 14 years ago where we have this really crazy setup. Check it out. So this transmission line, it's 69,000 volts. It's not a loop feed. It just comes off of one of our switch yards. A few of the towers are on different islands as they make their way over to the main island. So as that transmission line goes across, there's a house that is fed directly from the transmission line. So you can see here, this is the structure. And uh, actually, I changed those insulators when we were on this island, right about here, back, like I said, in 2008, I believe, or six, somewhere around there. Anyhow, you'll see here on the right-hand side, there's actually a disconnect switch on the tower itself that taps off the 69,000 volt lines to feed what we call a PT. So PT stands for what we call a potential transformer. If you wanna get technical, all the transformers out in the lines, they're all potential transformers. But this particular one's sole purpose is supposed to be to transform from 69,000 volts, which would be phase to phase. So you divide that by 1.73 to get your phase to ground voltage all the way down to 120 volts for purposes of metering. You can see here, this is in one of our switch yards. We have PTs on a 230,000 volt line here so we can monitor the voltage on the line. There's no way you can bring 230,000 volts into metering equipment with just way too high of a voltage to get readings off it. So we step the voltage down to 120 and you have, uh, you have a voltage that we can read. We run that through the equipment. The equipment says 123 volts. We multiply that by the ratio to find out exactly the voltage on the line. So what they actually did on this island is we stepped the voltage all the way down to 120 volts, where it goes into a small little tech cable and runs down the lag in that tower, almost all the way to the ground. So that 120 volt cable then shoots across to a single phase distribution pole, primary transformer, except in this case, the source side is on the secondary side of the transformer. We shoot 120 volts in, up into that transformer, and 7200 volts spits out the top. So now you're probably wondering why we don't just run that 120 directly into the house. And the reason is for voltage drop. So the tower is probably half a kilometer away from the actual cottage. And if we ran that 120 volts all the way to the house, there'd be way too much voltage drop. It wouldn't even really be usable by the time it gets there. When you carry voltage at a higher voltage, it can cover much larger distances without being affected by the voltage drop. So once it gets to the house, we then have another transformer, step it back down to our 120, 240, and it goes into the house. So as I said, guys, complete fluke, I was able to capture some of those images of this line. Again, mention in the comments, if you've ever seen anything like this, let me know. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.